Gus, an excellent three points against Peter Hedge. Your thoughts on the game, please? I'm delighted to win the game. Uh, I think you saw there how hard we had to work, but it's been like that you know, since the start of the season. You know, if you work as hard as that um, against you know recognised players of this level of football, you'll get the rewards. Um, we had you know just with. Withstand a bit of pressure as well at times, but you know that that's going to come as well because you know we saw the comments before the game that Peter Head had to throw caution to the wind and, and try and win the game. So we felt that there could be spaces that we could exploit with, with Zanata and, and Goal, maybe just sitting a little bit deeper. Um, I think it was key that we got the first goal today and it just gave us something to defend. And then you know when we get the second goal, you know as we've known only too well ourselves that. Um, one goal leads can be precarious, but to get the second goal, you know, just relaxes a little bit. You spoke about withstanding the pressure today. You put young Cammy Foy in at the back in recent weeks, and he's done excellent alongside Ryan McGeever has obviously kept them right. Maybe. Yeah, it's 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 a massive part in the back for him. You know, he's he's played development football now for the best part of two years, um, but when this opportunities came along, he's grabbed it. Um, it helps, you know, you get somebody like Ryan, uh, who's came through the youth system as well here at Queen's Park before he went to Falkirk. So he knows, you know, what it's like when you come in to this level of football. And he's helped him. He's kept things nice and simple. Um, he's, you know, he's got a good physical presence as well, um, but still, you know, developing. But you know, it's a good place to develop at this st- standard of football. And you've spoken previous weeks about the importance of taking chances, in particular the, the second goal today was crucial. Yeah, you know I think as we said earlier that you know if it's only one, you know you know you're going to have to withstand a lot of pressure. But you know the second goal, the manner of it, at the timing of it as well, you know just gives you that you know breathing space that you know come later in the game. I'd have still been uncomfortable if Peter had got a goal back, but um, you know credit to the the back three and. the and every one of them really, you know, they just worked their tails off and, and tried to sort of limit Peterhead to, you know, shots from distance and, you know, and try to stop crosses coming into the box as well to the, the physical presence that they've got. So everybody did their jobs today. And thoughts now turn to Albion Rovers here next week. Another huge game with the points only teams only separated by a point. Yeah, a game we saw there just on Tuesday night, you know, what a good team Albion Rovers are and, you know, the type of game that it was that, you know, as we said earlier, having that one goal lead, we were able just to you know snatch something at the at the very very death. So um, different game here, um, but you know I think there's a lot of confidence about the the group at the moment. You know, but it's just a case of dusting myself down. They've, you know, so today we were you know, right down to the bare bones you know, in terms of personnel. But you know we did say before the game that it just becomes an opportunity for for somebody to go and stake a claim and show that you know they're capable of playing at this level.